Welcome back. One of the many challenges we are all facing during the pandemic is finding ways to feel connected while we keep our distance. And back in April, about six weeks into this difficult time, a Victorian woman decided to read a bedtime story and post it online. Here's what happened since. Good morning, everyone. I'm Charlene Thornton Joe, and I'm all ready to do a bedtime, 8 p.m. bedtime storytelling. The camera work may be a little shaky, but the intent is perfect. This was April 30th, day one of what has become a nightly phenomenon for Charlene Thornton Joe. You know, with COVID, I'm hearing how everyone um, is feeling down, is feeling frustrated, the anxiety. Um, kids are at home and parents are, are struggling to, to work and look after their children because they're not at school. And so I said, let's do a little video and I'm going to read a storybook. And then I said, maybe I'll ask a few other friends if they'd like to join me um, and let's do it for a week. That week has become the longest week ever. We got great responses and I was able to get uh, some elected officials, uh, some media personalities, some athletes, and they said, sure, I'd love to read as well. So I'm going to read you a story up called the pokey little puppy. Last night would have been the 125th reading, so we've been doing it for six months. So those are the 10 ways to soar through life. The chickens went off to live by the sea. I picked out a book that is one of my favorites. What I love is that uh, the readers get to choose their own book. So what I love is the diversity. People are choosing books that um, they read to their children. Uh, we're seeing people that uh, remember books that were read to them when they were young. Oh, hi, everybody. I'm Mary Griffin. Some readers really get into the role. Hi, my name is Richard Rabbit, the Highlands Hare. When we first did it, uh, of course, friends of the readers were loving it. Hi, Billy. Then the library called me, the Victoria Public Library, and said, this is great. Uh, we have summer reading programs, and we'd love to put it on our website so that people can tune in. I said, absolutely. When we closed our branches, um, it became very important for the Greater Victoria Public Library to find new ways to support engagement within our community. So storytelling was a, a wonderful way to uh, bring that connection together. It's a way to mitigate that social isolation that we were all feeling. I can sail the seas on a little boat. I can eat every bite of a root beer float. Hi everyone. Ryder Hesterdahl here. Some readers, like these world-class athletes, chose a book about their passion. Franklin rides a bike. Hi everybody, my name is Matt Pettinger. The story I've decided to read to you today is called Just One Goal by Robert Munch. And I am delighted to be your 8 p.m. reader. Joe Perkins chose a children's book without pictures to let kids know the power and the fun of the written word. So that means even if the words say Blork. Wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Find all the bedtime stories on YouTube at 8 o'clock storybook reading. We are continuing, um, you know, at least a little bit longer, as long as we have readers to participate. My name is Helen Hughes. It's been wonderful. And for a very small little project that I thought I would do for a week, it has taken off. I'm going to read you and hold it up for you if we can spread a little joy during this difficult time. He's awake and cannot sleep, so we're going to find out why. Then uh, we've accomplished something, and, and that makes me happy. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.